Well, well, well. Looks like my scoop about Jared Leto being in talks about reprising his role as the Joker was correct, you disbelieving ninnies. And one more thing. Never hail Doomcock. Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. I very welcome my friends and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. Are you feeling charitable? Then smash the subscribe button and the like button and the share button. And please do follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. Welcome to Wednesday's edition of the DCEU Daily. And according to the scooper Daniel RPK, um, a Joker and Harley movie is in development. And as I said at the top of the show, this confirms that yesterday's scoop from me that Jared Leto is indeed talk, in, in talks with Warner Brothers Pictures to reprise his role as the Joker is spot on. So this is what I know about this. This is true from Daniel. This is absolutely spot on. As I brought you the scoop yesterday that Jared is in talks to reprise his role as the Joker, I can tell you that this movie would be an exclusive straight to streaming movie over on HBO Max. So Jared Leto in talks to reprise his role as the Joker. Um, a Harley and Joker movie is in development, but who's going to direct it? I hope it's David Ayer. I hope this is what he's been given. Um, it point, everything points to David Ayer being able to do this. That would be amazing, a continuation of his Suicide Squad movie. But first and foremost, before that can happen, really, we need to see the air cut. It's only fair. I believe we will see the air cut. I think it will happen. We have to keep on pushing for that. But extremely um, exciting news from Daniel RPK that a Harley and Joker movie is in development. As I say, I do believe that David Ayer will be involved in that film. So why the turnaround all of a sudden? Why all of a sudden is this Harley and Joker movie happening? Don't forget, this was part of the Snyderverse slate when we had Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, Harley and the Joker, and even, I think, a Harley movie on her own. Was It was all there. And... You know, um, you, you had the, the, you had like the Gotham City Sirens one as well, which would have starred um, Harley as well. And that would have happened, which I think would have been better than putting her with the Birds of Prey in that Birds of Prey movie that didn't make the money and the kind of the crack that they wanted. Right. So changing what the Snyderverse had planned was a big problem. So why is this happening now? Well, this is happening now, right, because... I hate this term, but it's the new normal. They know what's going on within theatres right now. They know there's an issue. They know they can't release movies. They can't keep on, you know, commissioning movies for movie theatres and then putting them back. Because as you go on, the queue will get longer and longer and longer with movies waiting to release straight in movie theatres. It's not going to work. You know, in the end, there could be a five to ten year backlog. Now, that sounds... Um, that sounds like an exaggeration, but it's not an exaggeration. So all the content that's greenlit now must be for straight to streaming, straight to streaming pay-per-view or stuff exclusively with HBO Max. We're already getting Matt Reeves, um, the Batman spin-off, um, Gotham PD or whatever the, they're going to call it. James Gunn's The Suicide Squad spin-off as well. That's going to be awesome as well. Um, you know, on the Green Lantern TV show. So a lot of things all of a sudden are being commissioned for straight to streaming where DC is concerned. And yesterday, of course, I did a video about Disney making it public that they're focusing on streaming because they're a business. These are businesses. They need to make money. You know, movie theaters are not viable at this moment or maybe any more again. So this has to happen. So this is, so this is why this is happening. This has forced Warner Media's hand they know that fans of the Snyderverse are hungry, clamoring for the at the bit to get more and more Snyderverse content for HBO Max. And this is what's happening. We know next year that Zack Snyder's Justice League will be the most streamed and watched event in streaming history. I don't need to go in a DeLorean. I don't need the TARDIS. I don't need a crystal ball. It's obvious, isn't it? And this will be a highly watched movie, Harley and the Joker, the Harley and the Joker that we want to see together. Jared Leto 
wants this. Jared Leto still hasn't been put off by playing this character. Now, obviously, it's not the character's fault, but, you know, you could understand if the guy didn't want to go anywhere near Warner Brothers Pictures anymore. But when I say he's in talks with Warner Brothers Pictures, in fact, um, I'm a little bit mistaken there because he's in talks with Warner Media, AT&T and HBO Max. So that side of it is the side you want to be working for because it's really ironic, isn't it? You know, if you're a believer in God, they say the Lord pays debts without money. And I think what's happening with Warner Brothers Pictures in terms of COVID and them not being able to release stuff in movie theatres right now is, is it's, it's, it's like justice, isn't it? Um, or, which is amazing. And so as far as I'm concerned, Daniel RPK is absolutely correct. Um, as, I, as was I yesterday, that Jared Leto is in talks to reprise his role as a Joker and there is a Harley and Joker movie in development, and I can't wait for all this to be officially confirmed. So why did I slur Doomcock's good name at the top of the show? Well, he hasn't got a good name. Listen, I watch Doomcock's videos not because I agree with his politics or everything that he says. I do agree. Um, the subject of identity politics in our entertainment is a terrible thing. But last week, he made a big claim on his Tuesday video, which was that the Batman was in trouble, that um, Robert Pattinson is problematic, that he's going to get the sack. Lies, lies, lies. Bullshit, 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 do me. And just to make him look even worse, they posted a bunch of behind the scenes pics. We've seen Rob in his Batman suit. We've seen Catwoman in her attire as well. She looks pretty cool. And we've just seen a lot of on-set pics. But we saw something very damning to the people who hate on Zack Snyder for having Batman having a gun in BVS. Again, I when I saw this, when I first saw BVS, I didn't think nothing of it. But people are crazy, right? Batman is a gothic character in a dark world, in a city, you know, corrupt with urban blight and violence and crime. If you're going to believe anyone, any of these DC heroes are going to have a gun, it's definitely going to be Batman, right? So I never had an issue with it. But we saw a close-up of Rob Pattinson's Batman actually having a gun in a holster. Absolutely fantastic. So let me just explain to you why this is and why it won't be something that you'll be seeing in the future movies or much in, in the Batman in this movie either. As I've tried to explain to you before, this is Batman Year Two, apparently. I'm surprised it's not Batman Year One, but it's Batman Year Two. That's different. Never been done before because Batman Begins pretty much is Batman Year One. Anyway, he's a work in progress. He hasn't totally learned how to fight yet. He's more of a street fighter, as when we saw see the trailer when he's just bashing the criminal literally to death. Right? I don't know if he kills him, but it's a good beating, isn't it? But anyway, so he's a work in progress. His costume isn't the costume that he will have ultimately. I know a lot of people like the costume and would like it to stick. I like the costume. But this is, a, you know, within not not the, the filmmaking, but in terms of the story of the Batman, he's a work in progress. This is the first costume. Maybe the second one. Him having a gun is because he can't totally defend himself. So he's got a gun. But later on, it, he will be in other films and maybe by the third act of this movie, maybe not, but definitely in the next movie and beyond, he won't have a gun. He will have a suit that look, looks more comic book accurate, right? But because he's a work in progress, because he's only just started being Batman, this is why he's got a gun. Now, you can lose your shit about this if you want. Personally, I think it's cool. I think it's okay. I don't have an issue about this and I, I don't understand why anyone would have an issue about this. Robert Pattinson's Batman has got a gun, he's probably going to shoot and kill people with it, as did Batfleck and I don't have any issue whatsoever. You can stand whatever Batman you want but the whole point, the reason Doomcock did the whole bullshit video about problems with the Batman, of course it all comes stems from it being delayed till 2022 because of COVID, but he saw an opportunity there, which a lot of the, uh, the fandom menace do, to talk about something that's trending and turn it on its head and try and say there's problems, because 
headlining a video saying the Batman is, is, is delayed because of COVID isn't very exciting because that's the truth. And the truth isn't very exciting, is it? And so he put this spin on it. No, there's no trouble with the Batman. It's going ahead in 2022. Production will not be delayed unless there's problems with COVID testing or there's an outbreak of COVID on the production. And that will be, a, they'll have lots of two week breaks in all production for this, but then they will, will return to filming. So no issues, real issues with production. Also, you won't even know about social distancing in the production of any of these movies either. So it's it's brilliant, but the, the Batman is not in trouble. It's It's got no issues with Robert Pattinson and that's just bullshit. So great to see the onset picks. I've loved them all. I'm really excited for this movie. And again, Doomcock is just a BS merchant. But I want to know what you have to say about what I've spoken about today. Are you excited about Jared Leto being in negotiations to reprise his role as the Joker? Are you excited that a Harley and Joker movie is in development? Because I certainly am. Comment down below. Like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with more DCEU Daily. See you again soon.